This is one of the best AI tools to support teachers with saving time, making resources. It's something that I use lots during my job as a supply teacher going into the different schools where perhaps resources haven't been made in the past and I just want to quickly generate them. It's, I share this lots with the different CPD that I do in schools and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's definitely going to be useful for you in the future. So the tool is called Diffit and Diffit sometimes mentions that it's going to be changing and that it's going to be, you know, free trial over. but. For the most part, this has not been the case. It's been available for a long time now for free. The free tools that they have available are fantastic and there's all sorts of different things. So when you're on here, this is what it will look like. You'll have learning resources for all and it's just a simple case of sign up. You do need a sign up, um, but it's definitely worth it. From here, you're going to go once it's signed in to here. And it's just a nice blank screen that you'll see. Um, nothing too ominous. There's a bunch of little hidden features that you'll be able to see in a second. But we're going to um, create some resources about, you know, literally anything. I find quite a fun one to talk about is the Egyptians. I think it's a universal topic that most schools around the world talk about. Um, Egyptian gods. And what I can do from here is change the language. So this is really supportive for children who have English as an additional language. We here in the UK call it EAL. You might call it something different. You've got your grade level. So this is an American term. Um, I find that you can just quickly tailor this and if you think it needs to be a little bit more senior or a little bit more basic, you can do that pretty simple. Um, so you can create it about Egyptian gods. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that for now, but you can just upload entire books. You can search for a book and go from there. If you've got a text, let's say you've already got a model text that another teacher or you've created yourself and you want to create resources based on that, let's say it's reading comprehension, you can do that. Or if you've got some sort of vocabulary list that you're trying to push resources out for, you can upload that too. And again, you can change all those different things. So in the more options, there's a few other things that you can do. You can create slides um, and you can create the type of text that you want to create. So that's really useful to know, uh, especially if you know, you're know you trying to make it for an English lesson where you're trying to do some sort of reading comprehension. For now, we're gonna just stick with information text. Um, we're gonna keep mm, fourth grade. Align to is a premium feature, which is a bit frustrating, but it is one of those things. And then we're gonna press generate resources. And, this is a really straightforward system. There's all sorts of different things that will be created from this and you'll be able to go with that from there. So here we go. Straight away, you can see that there's some different images. This is an AI image that's been generated. What I can do is I can change the reading length to more paragraphs. As you can see, if I want to customize that, then it's a premium feature. I can modify the reading to remove certain things or change the key vocabulary or I can change some activities too. I can also change the tenses. There's all sorts of different things that you can do, but this is the text that's been generated and I can view the full text here. Bit of a summary, but what I really like, and this is perhaps the most powerful thing, is the vocabulary section. So I can keep scrolling down here, look at all the different vocabulary, and then there's also some questions as well that I can use. I can come to this, I can show the answers if I want to because I haven't got the time or whatever. I can modify the questions. I can add questions if I want to. That's quite straightforward. So whether it's just a simple comprehension question that I want to add, um, just add that back in there and it's nice and straightforward. I've got some sheets that I can use down here and I've also got some think pair share things that I can utilize down here too. So there's all sorts of different resources that I can use, but down here there's also some additional activities, some of them that have a crown that you have to pay for, or some that you don't, where you can just pull those. So you've got the reading and the summary there. Um, I've got a vocabulary sheet that I can pull off very easily, key vocabulary, and like I said, some are premium features, but for what you get for the free, definitely worth using and then if you decide you're using it loads and you want to pay for the premium then that's great um, so then from there you can download it as a pdf um, and it's it's straightforward so lots of really really effective things that you can do with this there's all sorts of different stuff there too if we go back to the original diffit you can see the library of resources there what's great about this is there are already resources previously created 
So here I've typed in Egypt and you can see you've got a few different resources that are already there and I can just use them as and when I need. And it's just worth having a little look and exploring that too first to save you a little bit of time. Like I've mentioned, there are ways that you can use this to save you significant amounts of time. Personally, the vocabulary list is fantastic. And if you can imagine, you've got English uh, with additional language learners, so those who are learning uh, English, that's really useful to be able to translate. It's useful to have those comprehension questions available. And there's all sorts of specific ways that I can use this as a teacher. Is it worth learning how to use ChatGPT and things like that? Absolutely. And I've got a tutorial that's available on my channel to support you with that. However, what this allows you to do really quickly is to generate all sorts of different resources that you can quickly export faster than perhaps using something like ChatGPT. So that's why it's worth knowing different tools like this too. If you find this useful and you want to find out more tools that you can use, make sure you check out my website. I've recently shared EdTech Empowered that's full of 80 free tools that you can use. Additionally, make sure you subscribe. I'm really enjoying making these types of tutorials at the moment and I can't wait to share more of those with you. So look forward to seeing you in another video. Until then, I'm out.